says, you know what? Let me say something about this. Where here? Here we go again, Kamala Harris just can't catch a break, and this time the mainstream media is finally catching up and reporting on it. This is from Fox News, Harris ripped for word salad after heckler interruption during campaign speech. The gibberish never ends. Now, I'm going to play you guys some clips, we're going to react to it. What I'm going to first do is show you the word salad that Kamala Harris does when she gets interrupted. But then we have some insight into how they kick the protesters out. They try Try to compromise with them and then they give them maybe like two seconds and they always kick them out and by the way we have some other clips over in Arizona where they do the exact same thing it was a full day of protesters for Kamala so let's go ahead and break this all down many with no exceptions for rape princess you know what let me say something about this we're here because we're fighting for a democracy <laughs> fighting for a democracy and understand the difference here. Understand the difference here. Moving forward. Moving forward. Understand the difference here. What we are looking at is a difference in this election. Let's move forward and see where we are. Because on the issue, for example, of freedom of choice. That's okay. Okay, now I'm not a fan of Kamala, but to be fair, those protesters were very distracting. I'm going to show you guys their angle, and I'm telling you, like, all of the security in the arena walks up to them and is like, can you please stop, please stop, and then they just, the guy just goes, kick him out, just get him out of here. It gets so crazy, even some parents with, like, a child get out of there because they have no idea what's going on. But again, the main critique here is that once Kamala Harris gets interrupted, it goes into a word salad, and she doesn't know what to do because she doesn't want to offend anybody, so she always ends by saying, it's okay, it's all right, but she just starts fumbling her words. Now let's see what the protesters look like. Okay, so these two young ladies are just surrounded by all of these security guards. And again, Kamala Harris in the front, you saw her perspective and her reaction. I think she's watching this and trying to figure out what's going on and trying to appease the entire crowd. But what's interesting is out of the thousands of people in the crowd, it only takes two to interrupt and then Kamala just really starts to fall apart. This has always been another critique about Kamala is that she pulls in all of these massive crowds, but only a couple of disturbances and that's it. The whole event seems to just fall apart unless they can kick them out of the event. Something else I want to point out is how violent these rallies seem to get almost every single time there's a protester. Now, these two young ladies, yes, they were interrupting the rally. So this older guy was trying to calm them down, which is fine. He's like, hey, we're on the same team. And then this lady right here just shoves him out of the way. Check this clip out real quick. Okay, shoves them out of the way. Now, the thing is this. This happens almost every single time. When there's a protester, they just get shoved or vice versa. And even this guy's reaction is like, yo, I'm on your team. What are you doing? But again, my point is this. It happens almost every single time. Kamala never addresses it. She just says, yeah, you know, your opinion matters. We got to work together. And then they get kicked out anyway. Now, I will level with whoever agrees with Kamala. Yes, if a protester goes off, you should probably just kick him out because they're interrupting it for everybody else but the environment in which Kamala has created it opens up the door for violence because you've created a scenario of everybody's opinions matter but if your opinion doesn't line up with my opinion I'm gonna push you I don't agree with you you're the worst that's what the Kamala side always says about the Trump side so of course you're going to see actions like this of a lady shoving this guy out of the way who's trying to help you guys out and calm you guys down Let's talk for a moment 
about Gaza. We all want this war to end and get the hostages out for America's economy. Donald Trump's answer to the financial pressures. Okay, so this event happened earlier in the day. Nobody really talked about it because J-Lo wasn't there or a Beyonce. No mega stars were there except for a Mexican band that supports the drug cartel and promotes the cartel. We'll get to that later because that's a very weird part in all of this story. Now, the protesters are here. You saw the clip where they got kicked all the way out of the venue into another state, it looked like. Um, they are holding a New Way Forward sign, and they are also holding Kamala Harris, Tim Waltz signs. I promised myself I wouldn't get emotional, but you know what? You know what? We should be emotional. We should be upset. We should be scared and outraged. We should. Our pain matters. We matter. You matter. Your voice and your vote matters. And, and look, don't be afraid to make people around you uncomfortable. Invite people around you to be the change, to go out there and vote. Nobody likes having tough conversations or talking about politics, but trust me, I've been in some of these rooms. I see the way power works in this country. They love it when you do nothing, okay? A non-vote is an agreement. It just makes it easier, easier for them to do whatever they want. Okay, back to Nevada because I have to throw this in here and we will get to that cartel band. I know you guys want to see it. Um, Jennifer Lopez decided to go on one of the most emotional rants I have ever seen and then admits to supposedly being in a room of power. Now, I'm just going to say this because I know a lot of you are thinking it. This is my disclaimer. I don't know if it's true or not true. Many people are pointing allegations right now to J-Lo that she has some involvement with P. Diddy. I have no idea if that's true, but anyway... That seems to be one of the main comments in all of this. Like, is that the power you're talking about when you don't say anything? I'm just throwing it out there. But anyway, J-Lo appealing to emotions and crying. I mean, this is literally a meme at this point. This is how a lot of people deem the Kamala Harris side of the party, the Democratic Party or the far left party. So again, this is such a weird move to have J-Lo up there and tell her, get super emotional, start nearly crying and tell everybody to get emotional. I don't think that helps anyone. We know what happens when you let your emotions get the best of you really bad things happen okay let's try to end on a Okay, so let's try to end on a positive note. Kamala Harris wanted some good entertainment back at the Arizona rally which happened earlier in the day. This is who she booked. Uh, Los Tigres del Norte, and this is a band known for glorifying the drug trade, known for having potential ties to the cartel. Most people agree that they do. Um, they're a pretty famous band within the Hispanic cultures, Mexican cultures, Latino cultures, which is great. Um, a lot of people compare them maybe to like gangster rap, talking about real life issues. The only problem is they've actually been banned from certain parts of Mexico for performing their songs. But again, the, the main thing is this, um, Kamala doesn't read the room really well or whoever booked this because one thing Kamala as we know is accused of is having a terrible border policy and allowing for the cartel trade to continue within the United States and when you have a band that promotes it and talks about it and glorifies it obviously it's a very bad look but again I'm sure a lot of you might be fans of this band I've never heard of them I looked into them some of their music is pretty good I love that kind of stuff but again read the room you cannot bring a band around that's all about promoting the cartel when Kamala is accused of allowing them from entering the country so anyway that is the video let me know what you guys think